I welcome all of you guys in the lesson number 67 for grade 3 mathematics. The topic uh, which we did not finish, uh, that is what does reminder mean and we'll continue that topic today. We completed question number 3 and question number 4. Uh, yesterday, today we'll start from question number 5. So I'm just going to read the question number 5. Uh, you have to write this question number 5 in your uh, notebook first. I'll go to the another file where I will write this question and then I will uh, write its answer also. But uh, I'm just reading a question for you so that uh, you know uh, you have the idea what you have to do here, guys. A baker makes 54 cakes. Five cakes fit in each box. This is the uh, box and in one cake they put five cakes. How many boxes will he need for 54 cakes, okay? So guys, this is a simple division question. What you have to do, you have to divide this 54 by five, okay? You have to divide this 54 by five and you will find out that how many boxes do you need, okay? So you write this question also with me and uh, look at the screen also. I'll show you how you have to do it. This is question. Yes. So I show you guys like here. This is 54 by 5. I have to divide here 54 because there are 54 cakes. A baker make 54 cakes. I should keep it down. Look here, guys. A baker makes 54 gigs, so I will write 54 inside, like here, 54, okay? And five cake fits in each box, each box. So that's mean I have to divide it by five. I have to divide it by five. Look here, guys. A baker makes 54 cakes and five cakes in one box, you can put five cakes, okay? Five cake fits in each box. That's mean in every box you need to put, you need to put these five things, okay? These five cakes, maybe they are different cakes, but in one box that is a package, you have to put these five cakes, right? So I'm going to divide it 54 by five. So five multiply by what number will give me five? Yes, guys. Five multiplied by what number will give me five? Three, four number. One. One. One, you know, uh, I will consider only one uh, first digit, that is five. Okay, five multiplied by one equals to five. So I will write here five. One. Five multiplied by one equals to five. This is five. Now five minus five equals to zero. And we write this four down. Now we doesn't have, uh, the four doesn't come in the table of five. Four doesn't come in the table of five because four is less than five. So we multiply five by zero. We multiply five by zero. Because 5 multiplied by 0 equals to 0. So we will write here 0. 5 multiplied by 0 equals to 0. We multiply 5 by 0. And 5 by 0 equals to 0. Now 4 minus 0 equals to 4. So this 4 is a remainder. Okay. So that's mean we can make 10 boxes if every in every box we put five cakes we cannot make 11 boxes why because after making 10 boxes only four cakes are left and we cannot make one box with four cakes and 10 box with five cakes is that okay guys so the answer is 10 boxes is that fine yes, sir. 
to ask, ask you a question. question. I want to ask a question. I'm Ahmed Jubail. Uh, I, I, I don't, don't send that assignment. Uh, yeah. Uh, Wait for a while, guys. Ahmed Jibrail is asking, but this question is asking for all of you, okay? So you have to care, uh, listen this question carefully and you have to listen my answer as well. Yes, Ahmed. Why you don't put up 10 and put here minus 50 and the remainder will be zero. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. one minus five and zero four minus zero equals four. You can put up 10 and here 50. Yes. And will be four. Yeah, that is that's also fine. No problem. You can do it like that also. Okay. Yeah. You can do in this that way also, or you can directly multiply 10 by 50. This was just to show the basic method, you know, it is 54, but sometimes you have the number uh, like 504. Okay. So in that number, how you have to divide in this method is telling you that, okay, that if you have the same number, if you have any number less than uh, a, div a divisor, then you multiply it by zero or uh, subtract it and then you will have reminder, okay. Or this is also right. If you do it like this, 54 minus 50, that is four, that will be also fine. No problem. Both are same. This is your answer in both ways you will find the same answer 10 and reminder 4 okay is that clear image you don't write in the, in the note book write in the book the answer we are not writing in the book this is just i'm, I'm making you understand now i'm going to write it in notebook you have to write in notebook okay? okay guys you can write in any way okay now I'm going to write it in your notebook. I hope you have uh, written, uh, written the answer uh, question of your book because you uh, it takes time to write uh, a question from all of you. You take time to write a question. So this is lesson number 67. I'm going to share a new question, guys. Take out your notebook and start writing. I'm going to share a new screen with you guys. If you have written question number one, then write question number two. Today is Monday and it is 30. Guys, can you see the new screen? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, Yes, sir. 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 Um, let me complete this question, then we'll discuss that. Okay. A baker made 54 cakes. Say a baker made 54 cakes. A baker made 54 cakes. Okay. And five cakes fit each box. Five cakes fit each box. I need to make it smaller. A baker with 54 cakes, five feet fits each box. How many box will he need? How many boxes will he need? This is the question, guys. How many boxes will he need? This is the question. And you have to write this answer. Yes. Sir, I don't have my notebook. I'm I'm in real. I don't have my notebook. 
then write in any paper then when when you go to your home then write there okay 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 we have to write here answer the answer is 10 boxes how many boxes we need we need 10 boxes okay question number 6 now i'm going to write question number 6 four children can sit a table four children and sit a table how many tables are needed for 26 children how many tables are needed for 26 children four children can sit a table okay how many tables are needed for 26 children this is the question guys and you have to answer it guys uh, you have to complete it okay i will uh, you have to write up here 10 and uh, the same which like we did here in the this uh, screen where is that mm -hmm. wait for a while please okay yes like this you have to uh, write division like this okay so guys i write question number 6 that is four children can sit a table how many tables are needed for 26 children yes guys so if there is one table let's suppose i ask you for table 1 in table 1 if you four children table 2 again four children table 3 4 table 4 for in that way right so you have to arrange a table uh, you know you have to arrange you have to arrange the table for 26 children okay and you know that four children can sit at one table so first thing what you will do you will divide what 26 by 4 because there are 26 children and there are uh, four on one children only four in one on one table only four children can sit so now when you multiply uh, divide 26 by 4 so you will see four multiply by dash equals to 26 or less than 26 so if you check the table of 4 414 428 um 4312 4416 4520 and 4624 4728 so 4 multiply by 6 is giving you 24 whereas 4 multiply by 7 is giving you 28 so you cannot go for 28 because 28 is bigger than 26 so you will go for 4 multiply by 6 that is giving you 24 4 multiply by 6 equals to 24 now you see that 27 you minus 24 4 from 6 so you will get the answer that is 2 the answer is 2 this is the answer this is the division guys but uh, uh now you have to decide that whether we need six table or seven table first you have to tell me we need six table for 26 children or seven table yes guys okay now six seven 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 let's come to the chat box i want to check your answers let's come to the chat box how many tables tables we needed we need for 26 children six or seven 
احمد سیکس الحمام سیون کریم محمد سیون امرو سیون احمد کریم عبد الحمید سیون احمد واسط احمد جبرائیل سیون کریم محمد سیون احمد واسط سیون امرو سلمان سیکس کریم محمد احمد واسط سیون سیون امار خالد کریم محمد سیون یاد خالد سیون سیون ٹیبلز most of you are right those who are saying six they are wrong because the answer is seven look here this is the table one according to division uh, four multiply four, uh, 24 divided by six equals to four that's mean for 24 children we need six tables for 24 children we need six tables if we arrange six tables so only 24 children can sit on that look here on table one four table two table three table four and two more tables table five four and also table six so four plus four eight twelve sixteen twenty and twenty four in six tables only twenty four students can sit twenty four ch uh, children can sit but the question is saying how many tables are needed for twenty six children not for twenty four okay so you have to arrange one more table for two students. So in, on table seven, there will be two students. Okay, so this is the answer guys. We need seven tables. So oh, open your, uh, I'm going to share again the another screen with you. And where you need to write the answer of it. So, answer, and that is, hmm. 24 tables are, no, six tables are, needed for 24 children whereas one table is needed for two children so six plus one equals to seven and total seven table are needed for 26 children. This is your answer. Is that clear, guys? Very good. Guys, you have to write quickly, okay? Because uh, we have to finish this topic today. I cannot go up. The only you need to write this questions you can uh, check from the book also. Okay. Seven tables are needed for this. Now I'm going to write question number seven. Four monkeys share 25 bananas equally. The question is, I'm writing the question, guys. Question seven. Question seven, four monkeys. Four monkeys here, 25 bananas equally. Four monkeys here, 25 bananas equally. How many whole bananas does each get? How many does whole banana does each get? This is the question, guys. Four monkeys here, 25 bananas equally. Okay. How many does whole banana? How many? whole banana does each monkey get okay this is a question and you have to write its answer so i am going to first share the another screen with you so 
there are four monkeys and there are 25 bananas how many bananas will be eaten by one monkey uh, one monkey can eat how many bananas if it is divided equally so this is 24 and there are four monkeys so you have to divide it by 24 so guys again you check the table of four four multiply by six 24 and four multiply by seven 28 so four multiply by seven will give you the greater number than 25 so you will prefer multiplying four by six and that is four multiply by two so there is only a reminder five minus four equals to one now you have to tell me that how many whole bananas does each monkey get six or seven i'm going to open the chat you have to answer how many bananas does each monkey get yes guys six or seven chat is open karim amma six very good ahmad jayad mohammad naji very good all are saying six hamza suleiman ahmad awal al humam okay jihad hamza suleiman okay ahmad jibrail Ahmad Usama, very good. Karim Muhammad, very good. Jihad Al Sayyid, Adam. Okay. So, Yad Khalid, very good. The for the they are deaf, dumb, and blind. Yes, guys. This is the answer. Why six bananas? Oh, thank you, all of you. Ahmad Usama, Ahmad Muhammad. Why it, it will be six? Because only one banana is left and there are four monkeys if you talk about who, all the monkeys so they will get only uh, six bananas if they are 25 so you are going to write this answer okay what is the answer here how many whole bananas each get? Each monkey will get six whole bananas. This is the answer, guys. Okay. Why? Because they are just taking, taking the thing, taking. This is the answer. I'm making it blue. Okay. You have to complete it, guys. This is six. You need to write here six, okay? This is also. We have to start a new topic that is order and or order order. Okay. Guys, did you finish writing? Did you finish writing? No, no, but I do not see. Yes, I no, 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 Guys, this you have to do in the notebook. If guys, uh, any one of you cannot see the screen, so I'm uh, stopping and sharing it again. If your problem is not resolved, then you need to rejoin again okay i have shared it again even if you cannot see the screen then uh, you can leave the class and you can join the class again uh, perhaps your problem will be resolved question number six can i go down guys 
I will go down. I'm giving you two minutes to those students who did not complete this question. Okay? So that they can complete. One to two minutes I'm giving you. Okay? And I'm going to ask some question on the chat. Until then, the question is Hmm. Question I'm going to ask is similar to this. Shaykhul Islam is a rank, it's not a name. Okay, example Shaykhul Islam is a rank. The name of that person. I'm going to write the question in the chat box. You have to answer. The question is the greatest part of Islam. Six children can sit a table. How many tables are needed for 26 children? This is the question. Yes, guys, six children can sit a table. How many tables are needed for 26 children? Seven? Why seven? Are there 42 students, 42 children? Jihad, five. Mm -hmm. Ahmad Usama, five. Amza Suleiman, Ahmad Jibrail, five. Amar Khaled, Ahmad Usama, four. Ahmad Usama, why four? Ahmad Chia, five. Ahmad Awal, five. Yad Khalid, five. Five tables, Ahmad Awal, five. Jihad five. Ahmad Awal five. Very good, guys. The answer is five because six multiplied by four equals to twenty-four. That's mean in four tables, twenty-four students can sit. Twenty-four children can sit, and there are twenty-five or twenty-six. So for two children, you need one more table. So four plus one equals to five. It, it was same as this, okay? Um, I hope, uh, guys, this is finished and I'm going down for question number seven. This is a simple division. You can see this division from here also, okay? You can look from here also. All right, guys. Did you finish question number seven, guys? Yes or no? Once I open the mic, why you start, you start, students start keep shouting, hmm? If you do like this, I, I'm not going to open your mic, okay? And guys, you can see, I know that who is shouting. Whenever you speak, I can read your name, who is speaking. So I will keep you on a mute mode if you do like this. So don't shout guys, just disturb the class. Now tell me, did you finish question number seven? Okay guys, in question number uh, uh, seven, we have finished. Now I'll tell you about the new topic that is order, order. Okay. 
Uh, order order is in page on page number 89 okay and uh, this is very easy topic and you will enjoy this topic and the uh, you have to you will uh, revise the concept of ascending order descending order and uh, greater than less than in that topic okay so we will start inshallah from tomorrow that topic uh, uh, right now if you have any questions so you can ask me uh, three minutes are left if you have any questions so you can raise your hand or i can unmute you and i can give you a chance to ask your question emma jibrail you raise your hand i have already answered you anyone else except emma jibrail No one until then. I'm giving chance to him. He hmm. opened the page of the book, and they don't finish the question number seven in the notebook. Mm -hmm. It is same as in the book. Okay. No, uh, the answer. All right. Let. Is it fine? Yes, thanks, sir. Welcome. And uh, next is Ahmad Shihab. Yes, Ahmad. Sir, yes. Then complete number seven. You can open it, please. Okay, so question number seven you can see in the on your screen. Uh, the question. Is it fine now? Yes. Thank okay. you. And guys, you need to remember. I did not write here six up, but you need to write. Okay. You need to write six here. When I once I uh, when I will share the. Uh, course material, so I will write it. Anyone else? Ahmad Awad. Yes, Ahmad Awad. Sir, can I leave? Do you understand all the things? Yep. Do you have any problem? No. Oh, that's fine then. But you can wait if anybody asks question, so you can listen that question. Let me ask you, Karim Muhammad. Yes, Karim. Sir, we didn't finish the unit yet. It has question 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15. Uh, Very good, very good, Karim. Very good question. Guys, the thing is, uh, page number 108 uh, is included uh, in our syllabus, and page number 109 is not included in our syllabus. So we will complete only page number 108. And from tomorrow, we will uh, start new topic that is order and order, order, order. Is that fine, Kareem? We will not take uh, 109. Yes, this is not included in our syllabus. I will okay? do it X. Sorry? I'll do it at X. You will want to do question number eight? No, I will do X at it. Yes, yes, exactly. All right, guys, this is going to the end of our class. Inshallah, I'll meet you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next class. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye, sir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir. 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 Bye